What's going on everybody? Happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. Hope you're going to be out there going ready to get your grill on, your cook on, swimming, having fun with your family, your friends, vacation, whatever it is that you're going to do, I hope you're out there and you're getting ready to do it. But you know, I have some free time, 4th of July, so it's going to be time for a video because I don't believe I've made a video in a while with my face on anyway, so the topic of this video is where are all the real Nintendo fans at? real ones, not these fake ones, these corporate cocksuckers, these slaves, these corporate cheerleaders that do nothing but dedicate their channel to damage control and making excuses for Nintendo and all their shortcomings and failures as of late, but I'm talking about the real Nintendo fans, the people that grew up with a pair of these, the people that grew up playing games like Mario, Metroid, Zelda, the people that grew up playing games like Final Fantasy, the original Dragon Warrior, the original Castlevania, people that grew up on systems like the Super Nintendo, people that grew up in an era of gaming where Nintendo had top-notch stellar third-party support with games like Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy VI, and above all else, games like Secret of the Man. Where are all of you guys at? Because I'll be honest, I feel rather lonely here because I can't relate to this new age Nintendo fan that's a bunch of corporate cocksuckers, corporate cheerleaders and drones because any real Nintendo fan, any real Nintendo fan from the 8 or the 16 bit era would not stand for what Nintendo is nowadays in the present. It has been 17 months since the last blockbuster has come out for a Nintendo console and that was Zelda Skyward Sword. 17 months ago, people, and do I hear people criticizing about this? No. Do I hear people complaining about this? No. Because you obedient little puppets will pretty much go along with whatever Nintendo does nowadays. It's because of you, which is why I blame Nintendo for the current situation that Nintendo is today. Nintendo is catering to a bunch of people that have zero expectations for anything. Whatever Nintendo does, you will pardon them. Whatever Nintendo does, you will make excuses for them. Whatever Nintendo does, you will allow. And you're okay with that. This is the company that has promised you third-party support, that has promised you games, that has promised you not having any droughts. All those, they've broken. And what do you do? Make excuses for them. Damage control for them. And still continue to be okay and happy with it. Me, as an old-school Nintendo fan, from the beginning, that's not acceptable. I'm sorry. So, like I said, where are all of you old school Nintendo guys at? These dudes out here right now, these guys running around trying to be a part of something, trying to be part of a little group because they probably have no friends in the real. They're not real Nintendo fans. These are people that have nothing going on in their lives, so they want to be a part of something, they want to be a part of a community, and they just want to fit in anywhere they can fit in. I mean, it's 2013, and we have games like Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 that came out in 1999 that offered 32 player multiplayer in a platform with deathmatch and co op, and yet we have losers and lames making excuses in 2013 about how a platformer can't be done right in multiplayer when in 1998, 1999, we had 32 player platformers with shooting, with deathmatch, with co op. It's unbelievable. It's because Nintendo caters to this vocal minority, this minority that really doesn't care about anything that is going to be the end and the death of Nintendo as far as consoles go in my eyes. You have a group of people that complain, that cry, that bitch and complain about why I don't get any third party support? Why don't developers take them seriously? Why would anybody take a bunch of corporate puppets and slaves like you seriously? Why? For one, you don't buy games. And two, when you demand games, look at the flip side of things. You cry and complain about how all these games are nothing but annual releases and you don't like them. That we don't want them on Nintendo systems. We want original games and yet the third party games you're hyping up about are Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Call of Duty 3 or Modern Warfare 5000 or whatever the new game's coming out is. You complain and cry about annual releases, and yet the games of third parties you're hyped up about the most are, guess what, annual releases. And these third party developers, they see that. They see the crying and the complaining and the hypocrisy. Nobody is that foolish enough to take you moron seriously. Because let's be serious. Post Super Nintendo, 
third parties, they have not had to rely on Nintendo for anything because third parties do not need Nintendo consoles for anything. Handhelds? Hell yeah. Consoles? Hell no. Once the PlayStation 1 came out, Nintendo for all intents and purposes has been irrelevant to third party gaming and developers. It has been. If you've been doing nothing but solo Nintendo gaming since the N64 and onward, then pretty much I can say it right now, you are not a gamer. Because you've been missing out on the collective majority and the collective bulk of third party games. And something needs to change within the fan base because unless you change the fan base, you're not going to change the philosophy of the company. People rose up against the Xbox and the Xbox One, the DRM. People raised up against Sony and the whole don't do the DRM thing. Developers and gamers and everybody, we were the ones that made Sony change their whole philosophy in hardware, the whole philosophy in third party relations, how they deal with things. But if the Nintendo fan base doesn't want to stand up, they don't want to stand up and make a change, then you know what? Nintendo is doomed to follow you, and that's all there is to it. So real Nintendo fans stand up and corporate slaves, corporate drones, corporate puppets, Dr. Trey's, Black Barons, Furious Francis's, Player Essences, KFD 3D's, The Shooters, Tony Rennie's, all of you clowns. Well, it's because of people like you that the gaming industry and third party developers as a whole really don't give a damn about Nintendo.